How does it feel to be named Outstanding Director by the Santa Barbara International Film Festival? Uh, it feels awesome. And, uh, and to share that distinction with the other directors is amazing as well. Yeah. Can you talk a little bit about adapting Moonlight to the screen? Yeah, it was uh, a very fluid process. You know, my life and the playwright's life, uh, Terrell McCraney, overlapped in a lot of ways. So it was almost like, you know, the character's not either one of us, but there were so many similarities that I could just let myself into it. And what were some of the challenges of filming Moonlight in such a short filming schedule? Uh, you know, we tried to uh, allow our challenges to be like inspirations. So um, it was beautiful to be back in this place that I knew intimately, where I'd grown up. And uh, whenever problems arose, logistical problems and things like that, whenever we thought we needed more time, we just sort of went in the other direction and just let the magic happen. I've heard that's from some of the other f uh, people working on Moonlight, mm -hmm. how you kind of let Miami tell you what it wanted. Yeah, yeah, we let the, the, the city speak for itself, you know, and even in the edit, you know, we tried to let the movie dictate the pace it wanted to be told at. So, yeah, it was a very fluid, organic experience. And uh, I mean, I don't know that I'm ready to do it again right now because <laughs> they were in intense 25 days, but it was really wonderful. And I think being here at the end of the rainbow, you know, during award season here in Santa Barbara is proof positive that we did good work. And did you know from the beginning that the soundtrack would become almost like a character in the film? Uh, you know, we were hoping so. You know, when Nick, uh, when Nicholas Patel composed the score, rather than him uh, composing music and us throwing it onto the film, he would sit down and watch the movie and let the characters dictate, you know, when there needed to be score. And so I think the two things run uh, very hand in hand, the story and the score. And how do you feel that Moonlight is impacting our culture right now? Uh, you know, all I can speak to are the messages I get on Instagram and Twitter of people who felt voiceless for so long, who've always wanted to see themselves, and they go into this film when they see themselves. And I'm not just talking about like young black gay kids. I've been to Belgium, I've been to Germany, I've been to France. This one guy said, I grew up in rural Germany and I didn't see Chiron when I was watching this film. I saw myself. That's amazing. What's next for you? Uh, I'm adapting a book by Colson Whitehead called The Underground Railroad uh, into a limited series, and then from there, we'll, we'll see what else shakes loose. Well, we can't wait. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Barry. Thank you. Much respect.